Hi everyone, uh, Al again. This is a, a follow-on video really um, for you guys who got solar panels like myself. Um, I've got them up there, same as everyone else. I've been trying to keep the seagulls off and birds off because I keep on, uh, keep on going over them. Um, now a little while ago I fitted this device and I have got a video on this particular thing. Uh, I'll see if I can zoom up on it for you. If I can, let's see if we can get it in. And it's that little device up there on the apex of my roof there, can you see it? Um, it's an ultrasonic bird scarer um, with a strobe, flashing strobe that's supposed to help scare them off. And I can survey it up for a couple of weeks and it does actually seem to work. Now what, what was wrong, the only thing that's wrong, is that it has got a main power input on it of, of um, 9 volts, so you can use a transformer. Um, but I've been using batteries, which is what it does use two batteries, but they don't last that long. And of course, uh, I've had it up a few weeks and it's it's run down. So I had to try and think of an answer to this because I thought I can't keep going up there every time, uh, up a ladder to change that into batteries because it's quite impractical. So I'm going to show you my solution, which is to run a wire out the back of it there. See if I can zoom up to it there. And you can see it there. And uh, I've run a wire down the apex here, just zoom back out, and down the wall here, and down the, oh hello Shadow, um, and down into this little box, hello Shad, yeah okay, she's come to see what's going on, she's very inquisitive, um, I've got this little box here, which I've wired everything into, um, and if I lift, lift the lid off this you'll see what's going on, I'll just put the camera down a second, down okay, sorry about that guys, yeah. Um, but as you can see what I've done is I've connected the battery now down here um, so even if it doesn't work I can always change the battery now what I've done is buy a rechargeable battery 300 milliamp one um, now what I've also done is run another wire out of there it goes past the diode that is actually taped inside there there is a diode in there to stop reverse charging because I've run another wire up there up the solar because the solar panel is, is hanging up there oh, I don't know if you can see it all right there and um, that solar panel there is, is charging that 9 volt battery uh, just to keep it topped up so I'm hopefully you know, hoping it's going to be maintenance free uh, without me having to do a damn thing so I'm hoping this is going to work, I'll let you know on it how it gets on um, but that's my little solution to this problem of the bird scarer um, working without any more battery changing or whatever but very worse now if the solar panel didn't charge it enough I could change one of these but at least I'm doing it on the ground and not up there obviously if I would access easy to mains I'd have put a transformer in uh, and job done you know but if you've got access to mains no problem if you haven't like me too much hassle drilling and getting wires for the wall I've opted for this solution which again is good because you could use no power so I'm all for saving any any electricity you can and that's what our solar panels are about anyway aren't they saving money there you go that's another little tip from me okay thanks very much for watching guys and, girls. and uh, any more tips tricks on anything plumbing mainly heating uh, and DIY videos uh, is Derrick and 33 thanks very much for watching